In this video, I would like to use the right rectangle method, also called the right sum, to approximate the area under the curve of x squared, where x goes from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 using 4 subinterval. You can use 6, you can use 8, you can use 10, you can use 50 interval, but in this video, I prefer to use 4 subinterval. So from 0 to 1, do you see that there is a wide segment? First, we have to cut this into 4 pieces. So first, I cut right in the middle. So that is a 0.5, right? And then half of 0.5 is 0 0.025 and then 0.75. So this is a 1 over 4, 2 over 4, and then 3 over 4. So for the right triangle method, you have to go from right to left, starting at the right, all the way on the right, and then you go from right to left. So let's cut this into, uh, let's bring the sub, sub interval to the x-axis. So this is x-axis. So we have 1, 2, and then a 3, right? So maybe I can put this in more evenly. So 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so this is a 1 over 4, 2 over 4, 3 over 4. I just cut 0 to 1 into 4 subinterval, starting from right to left. So starting from the rightmost point, which is right here. Do you see that there is a big dot that is all the way to the right, right? And then the length is 0 0.25, so you go 0 0.25, and then you go down. Let me make this look nicer. So right here, and then you go down. All right, that looks good. And then the next one, the next one is 0 0.75, which is 3 over 4. So now, let oh, be, before we, we do the next, next one at this point, why do I start at this point? The reason is when x is equals to 1, there is a point on the curve. The next point, when x is equals to 3 over 4, the point is right here. And then you should align from right to left, and then you line up to the bottom. So that is the next rectangle. And then when x is equals to 2 over 4, there is a point on the curve. Again, a point on the curve. And then you go from right to left, and then you go down. And then the last point, when x is equals to 1 over 4, we have a point right there, and then you go to the right and then you go down. So here we have four rectangles, right? So this is the first one. I prefer to go this way. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. Now, my question is, what is the total area of this four rectangle? So since you are using right sum, so I will just use a R4. The R stands for right. The 4 stands for 4 subinterval. So first thing first, uh, let's start from right to left. So starting from the right, what is the base? The base is 0 0.25, right? So every this, this length, this base is 0 0.25, which is 1 over 4. And then how tall is the rectangle? The height is right here, the dot right there. So that means when x is equals to 1, what do we have? So we have 1 over 4 times f of 1. So that is the height, and then we will plug in to get the value. And then the next one, when x is equals to 1 over 4, how tall is that? That is right here. So we have f of 3 over 4, and then plus 1 over 4. How tall is this? This rectangle. So when x is equals to 2 over 4, that is the height of the rectangle, which is f of 2 over 4. And then the last one, right here. So the base is 1 over 4, always 1 over 4. And then the height is when x is equals to 1 over 4, we have a point on the curve. So we plug it in to find the height. Another way to write this is you factor out the 1 over 4, and then you do f of 1 plus f of 3 over 4, and then plus f of 2 over 4, and then plus uh, f of 1 over 4. And then you plug in the value. So since f of x is equals to x squared, right? So when you plug in a 1, then you have 1 over 4 times what? 1 square, right? And then the next one is 3 over 4 square. The next one is 2 over 4 square. The next one is 1 over 4 square. Remember, you have to square the entire fraction, not just the numerator. So overall, you have, third, you have 15. 
you have 15 over 32 that is approximately equals to 0 0.46785 this is the right sum using four sub interval is this an under or over estimation to, so to find out is this underestimate or overestimate you have to use your eyes to look at the picture again so look at the first rectangle every time I create a rectangle I have some extra area right here right look at the green area I have some extra green area right here it looks like that happens on every rectangle so therefore this right sum is overestimation So in the previous video, I do a left sum, right? So when we do a left sum, so go back to the left sum. So the left four, uh, what is the area? The left four is 0 0.21875. So if you do a right sum, you get a bigger area because you overestimate everything. Every, every time you create a rectangle, when you use a left sum, you have an underestimation because every time you create a rectangle you miss some area right now the question is which one is the best the left or the right or should we add them up and then divide it by two that is the question that people think of all the time I am not going to answer that question in this video because this video I want to focus on the right sum and then at this point we already discussed the left and the right and there is one more method that method is called the midpoint sum which is what I am going to talk about in the next video. So before I sign out, overall, if you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below, like the video, subscribe to my channel, appreciate your help and support. I see you all in the next one. Signing off for now.